friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest, and today we have some prompts from Janet Nash. I will link Janet Nash's channel below. She does a live stream every Monday, and she pulls prompts, usually like five or six, and those are the prompts for the week. And if you would like, you can take them and create a journal page. So the prompts for April 3rd were chaos, painty paper, yellow, hibernating animal, courage, and add a miniature scene. So right here I'm working on my hibernating animal. And this is a little chipmunk just snoozing away the cold winter days. And as he enters his month-long slumber, months-long slumber really, he is dreaming of being brave and courageous because in his everyday life he's very wary I should say it's not so much that he's scared but he is a chipmunk so he has to be aware of his surroundings and if anything's out of place if any enemy shows up any predator he's gonna dive into his leaves and hide so he is so used to being you know on high alert, I should say, on high alert, while he's out and about doing his daily business in the forest, that when he sleeps, he dreams of not having to be on high alert. He can confront anything. He is brave. He is courageous. Nothing scares him. He'll stand up to even a big wolf dragon. This terrifying creature is something that normally he would run from and dive into the leaves, like I said, because that's what he does. But in his dreams, he takes the dragon head on. And this is a terrifying dragon for him. A wolf dragon is not something you want to run into, even on your best day, at your most confident. You don't want to run into one of those. So here he is, bravely confronting this dragon in his dreams. But no one tell him that he's actually holding a sunflower instead of a sword. Or maybe it's a sunflower sword, but either way, it's not really that strong. But we won't tell him that because look at him. He thinks he's got this and I think he does. I think that wolf dragon is actually taking a step back. And that is how I am including courage in my scene. So we have the chipmunk, the hibernating animal. We have courage facing down your fears, standing up for yourself. Don't let anyone push you around or bully you. And I also have a little bit of yellow because the chipmunk does have yellow, but don't worry, there will be more yellow than just this little bit on the chipmunk. I'll try to put it here and there throughout the whole scene. And it was funny, when I first got these prompts, I was a little bit stumped because when I do the prompts, I like when I have a story. So I kind of just sat with it for a while and it was just all of a sudden, I think I was literally going to take a shower. Like it wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't sitting down doing art. It just randomly popped into my head like, oh, courage. It could be a hibernating animal dreaming about being courageous. So here's the next um, prompt, add a miniature scene. And I saw this super cute attic space illustration from a magazine and it has little squirrels up there. And I thought that would be just perfect. And it's a little bit chaotic up there. It's a little bit messy, but I'll add some more chaos too. And I'm kind of, I always go back and forth, you know, um, now that the watercolor is dry, I'm going to add the white gel pen. And then I think I go back to working on the background. So that's kind of what I do. I go back and forth and back and forth. And um, sometimes I can use my heat gun and then that way I don't have to go back and forth so much. I can just 
get one thing fully done like you know the, the illustrations fully done if I just blast them with some heat so they can dry but a lot of times I go back and forth and that's kind of fun too because then I work on different things at different times and I don't get tired of working on one thing like exclusively so here we go we've cut them out and now I'm just figuring out how to place them there's my painty paper so this was a painty paper I made back in the fall and it came out kind of grungy and I really loved it. I thought I was making a mistake when I was doing it on the gel plate and it turns out I love it. So I'm going to rip it up to make it look like leaves. Um, they're not leaf shaped but just the idea of them being leaves and nesting materials because the chipmunk is sleeping. So there's his nest there and it doesn't really matter what shape it is because I'm going to add these other colors and I just got some more painty paper so I could have a little bit of green and a little bit of red just so the whole thing wouldn't be those grunge papers because I figured if it's all the same um, it blends a lot obviously and you don't quite see you might not see the edges and see that it's different bits and pieces it might just all look the same and um, like one big piece and I wanted it to look like little leaves and stuff and then this is a little bit chaotic too so the chaos is also this nest so it's the picture up above with all the stuff and it's also sort of the chaotic nature of the the twigs and the leaves and all the things the chipmunk brought in to make a cozy winter nest cozy for him but might be a little messy or a bit much if somebody else were to live there but it's perfect for him he loves it he's got everything everything he needs And so I'm doing this one page first, but then I'm going to actually wind up spreading it across the other page as well, because really the left side is the nest and the right side, though it's still the nest, it's going to be the dream scene there where he's battling the dragon. So I wanted it to look dreamy, of course. So I thought maybe this tissue would give it sort of like a wavy surreal kind of look so I'm adding this but I do wind up covering it and I don't really think I needed to use the tissue but sometimes that's just when you're working something out and you're trying to figure out you know you know you want to have it look a certain way but you're still kind of working out how to get there so that's what's happening here and then I'm adding the leaves all around the edge because I want you to know that he's actually still in his nest and um so I thought I'd make a border around the dream sequence. And I wanted the dream sequence to be in like a cloud bubble. Oh, and this is for Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie Society. She gave me a challenge of including a little something in this, in this journal page. So I was up for the challenge. So you'll see that again later. But... For now, let's get our dream illustration in there. And his little tail just went over the page a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just try to glue it down as best as we can and hope that it folds as you open and close the book. And this here is the modeling paste with a little bit of acrylic in it because then I thought I could make it look cloudy and um, you know when you look at like an illustration or a comic and someone's dreaming and they have the little like cloud coming out of their head, you know, where you can see what they're dreaming. It's like a word bubble, but it's like a little cloud for, for um, what they're dreaming. So that's what I'm doing there. And now I'm just adding some stuff because I thought I would add to the chaotic nature by just having some random things that the chipmunk had collected. A pillow, a hat, a basket, a spoon, rubber ducky and the yellow submarine barbara had given me the challenge during the live stream of somehow putting a yellow submarine into my my journal pages this week so there you go barbara that's for you the yellow submarine so i hope it's the song is is playing through your mind right now and um, yeah, so here I'm just trying to get the outline of this dream cloud. I wanted it to look like a cloud. <laughs> Seems redundant. But um, yeah, I was having a hard time kind of separating it from those leaves that are there. 
And then I decided that I wanted there to be some audience chipmunks watching, you know, what was happening. And this is, of course, is in the dream still. So these chipmunks look kind of goofy because they're, you know, when you're dreaming and things are just kind of weird. So it's like, that's why I have him with a um, sunflower seed for a sword. But in the dream, it works. You know, in the dream, it's like, oh, it's a real sword, you know. But if you try to use a sunflower in real life, probably wouldn't turn out so well. And so these chipmunks are like silly, very illustrative, like silly chipmunks. But I actually really love how they came out. Um, and so they are in the dream like, oh my gosh, he's so brave. Wow. So they're like really impressed. And so in the dream, you know, he's, he's, he's defeating this wolf dragon and there are people watching chipmunks watching that are just super impressed and now I'm just adding a little more yellow here and there um, just where I saw little bits of white paper poking through the leaves I thought you know I'll just add some more yellow and then I thought you know I'm gonna make a border around this um, dream just want it to really stand out as like a dream cloud and just a little white, just to really emphasize the dreaminess of it. And then I wanted to put a little shadow behind the chipmunk. And we're done. Here we go, we've got everything. We have some chaos, we've got painty paper, we've got yellow, we've got our hibernating animal, courage, and a miniature scene. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.